Hello everyone. We're going to talk about two things that make me very, very happy in the world. One is talking about the godfather of ASMR, Bob Ross. Happy little deck of cards. And one of my favorite beverages. That's right. Malt liquor. We're going to get torn up with Dr. Andrew Michaels and talk about Bob Ross. Now first, if you haven't seen my video over the weekend about my fundraiser for my friend's funeral expenses, it's right here. Should be a little tiny link. Tiny little link right here. And I made a tie-in podcast from that video. It's uplifting, I promise you. 100% uplifting. And the link for that will be here below. Okay? Alright. It's a face massage and tracing video. And I think you'll really like it. It's both intense and very, very intimate. Okay. We talk too long. Look at the ice on that. 60 frames a second, baby. Look at that ice. Nice and cold. 42 ounces. Old English malt liquor. In honor of my friend Logan, Captain Midnight. This one's for you, my man. My man. Labels out. Oh, look at that. Crack it on, camera. Throw the bottle cap. Labels out. Oh, I haven't drank all year. I have not had a drop of liquor all year. My, my. That is righteous. Oh, oh that went down hard. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I missed you, Old English. 800. My, my, my. Some good ass malt liquor. I got this around Christmas time. I bought it for myself at Cracker Barrel. Now you can find it everywhere Amazon, Walmart, anywhere, Target. And there's two different decks there's this one that's shaped like his head, and then there's another one that's more traditional playing cards. Now, these are really, really nice. Okay, these playing cards have the same face on them. This is the face. That looks like all those bearded gentlemen that make ASMR videos now. Little goatee. And the fro, baby. Yeah. My fro went to go. Got to go. It didn't it didn't make it. So all the cards are the same on the front. Okay. But on the back of every card, 
they're different. They have a different saying on each one. Some cool piece of wisdom from our man, Bob Ross. That's this guy right here. He liked to paint happy little things. And he loved little animals. And he was a good guy. He was a good guy. Now, take this one. Jack of Diamonds. And it says, Anytime you learn, you gain. Looks like it was proofread by the same guy who does my fortune cookies. Anytime you learn, you gain. So, it's a wonderful piece of wisdom but a horrible piece of grammar. I think Bob Ross would like that. I think. Next one should be better. However you think it should be, that's exactly how it should be. Okay, they didn't try too hard on this deck of cards. What is that? What is that? I don't even know what the hell that is. Diamonds? Ace? I don't know what it is. Who cares? Is that a queen? I don't know. Queen of diamonds, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's queen. Queen of diamonds. So it's okay. I got the two of diamonds, and it says... Everything is a good day when you paint. Except for the guy who has to clean up. That guy's not happy. He's not a happy little janitor when he has to clean up all the paint off of the chairs and the tables and all the brushes. Three of diamonds. Hello, Bob. Hello, everyone. I'm Bob Ross. This is a happy little video. Playing with our cards and drinking malt liquor. Labels out. Ooh, I need a little Bob Ross in my life. Mm. Have some good malt liquor. And on the uh, three of uh, diamonds, it says, I think each of us at some time in our life has wasted, wanted to paint a picture. That's probably true. This is the four of diamonds. It's going to take all day to get through these. No pressure, just relax and watch it happen. So, Bob Ross, Bob Ross people, Bob Ross. Five of diamonds. You're starting to get the idea of this video, right? Okay, five of diamonds. Painting will bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. That's a nice one. That's a pleasant little playing card piece of wisdom. I like that one. Six of Diamonds says, just let go and fall. Like a little waterfall. Just let go. And fall. Like a little waterfall. Just let go. And fall. Like a little waterfall. Let it fall like a little waterfall.
waterfall down your gullet into your belly labels out. Oh, boy, that's good. I like the old English. Seven of diamonds. <laughs> Be so very light. Be a gentle whisper. Is that where she got her name for that channel? Come on, Maria. Confess. Is that where you got the name for your channel? Paul well, Ross said it. I, uh, I wonder. Be so very light. Be a gentle whisper. Be a gentle whisper, Maria. You can do it. Be a happy little whisper. Is there a happy little whisper? I don't know. But we know there's a gentle one. Eight of diamonds. You can do anything you want to. Do this. You can do anything you want to do. This is your world. This is your world. And that is a nice thing. You really can do anything in this world. Bob Ross said so. You can do anything you want in this world. And you, you can. You could be a bald old fat bastard like me. And still be a sexy icon to the gay bear community. You know who you are. <laughs> and find the ladies. Think your goatee is quite sexy. <laughs> to the consternation of his old lady. <laughs> okay. Shh, don't, shh. They're sleeping upstairs. Shh. It's just me and you down here. It's just me and you boys. <sighs> okay. Focus, Michael. King of hearts. King of diamonds. King of diamonds. I'll show it to you. It's life. It's interesting. It's fun. It's life. It's interesting and it's fun. From the king himself. <coughs> Bob Ross. People. Bob Ross. Coming at you. Oh, Ace of diamonds. Um, go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. That's right. You want some fruit, you gotta go out and pick it off the limb. That's my friend Bob Ross. I like these cards. I I bought them and I and I know I'm kinda of being a uh, funny with them, but they cheered me up at Christmas time and I don't remember where I put them, you know. I got them and I was gonna do a video and I didn't know how to couple it with something fun. And then I thought, well, everybody loves small liquor. <laughs> so I was originally going to do a video. I was telling my friend Southern Belle ASMR. She's real pretty blonde. I think that was her. I was going to do, because she was real nice. She was worried about me over the weekend. And uh, she wrote me and said, you know, are you okay, you old dummy? And, uh. She's really nice, and she didn't call me a dummy. She said, are you going to make it, or what the hell's the matter with you? Are you going to grow up or something? Oh, she was just being concerned, and she really cared. I'm just being funny. Two of clubs. This is a long one. Okay, it says, this is not something you should labor over or worry about enjoy it if painting does nothing else it should make you happy and bob ross was right if you're not doing something in life that makes you happy then you're doing something wrong and i want to think about that for a minute and then go back to southern 
Bella. She's really nice. And uh, you can tell when you watch her videos, she's having like the time of her life. And I hope you guys know I really enjoy doing this. Bob Ross, I, I can assure you, Bob Ross loved painting. He would go from television studio to television studio to promote his show, The Joy of Painting. And he would paint that painting and then he would donate it to that particular PBS station uh, so they could auction it off and make some money. And I don't know how often he did it or, or how many times, but a lot of his paintings were sold that way to help put money back into the PBS station network, which was, which public broadcasting still is funded by the United States government. It's, it's, uh, it's like NPR, NPR National Public Radio is funded by the, funded by the United States government. It's supposed to be, um, unbiased and, uh, you know, there should be a separation of church and state and all that government stuff involved in it. And Bob Ross had these wonderful painting shows and donated all of these paintings. In his name alone, he had Bob Ross line of painting, paint, paints and brushes and stuff. He could have made a lot of money, but he chose to go the public broadcasting route because he really believed in it. And he wasn't the only one. And his show had a niche market and a niche audience. And ASMR has always been a niche market. I think everybody thought ASMR was going to be this new big thing. And it was going to have, you know, millions and millions upon hundreds of millions, billions, billions of followers. But things like Bob Ross and... The Joy of Painting and ASMR are a niche market, and they always will be, because people are so busy in their lives. I was with someone today who refused to feel ASMR. Yeah. And I tell you not that there are people who cannot let go and feel it. They've lost something. And it is our job to carry on for people like Bob Ross. And I'm an old dog too. And I teased about Maria, but Maria's getting up there too. She's been around a long time. And it's our job to tell you and then you have to do, you have to carry on to the next generation. You can't give up. A friend of mine told me there's something inside you. I don't take compliments well. And she said, and she's a dear friend. Okay, so I want to make that clear. She said, uh, I didn't want to do this, this kind of, st she said, there's something inside you that doesn't quit, doesn't give up, <clears throat> doesn't surrender, keeps going, keeps fighting, never, never, never. Even when you're beaten, it doesn't give up. It's always trying to figure something out. Always trying to overcome. And she told me that because I needed to hear it. Not to boost my ego. And not to make me feel better. You see it in the movies a lot. You see Rocky Balboa saying it. You see Captain Marvel doing it. You see Captain America 
exemplifying it. It's not how many times you get knocked down in life, it's how many times you get up. And you keep going forward. And I know I got emotional in my next video, but you need to hear it. It's not how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get up. And you keep going. We just show you how, but you make the decisions. When you have this much power, you have to make big decisions. Three of clubs. And he's right. And it is up to you. You know me, I think there ought to be big old trees right about there. And let's give him a friend. Everybody needs a friend. And he's right. This old man painted up to the day he died. And I've told my followers they're going to have to screw me into the ground when they're done with me. And I know things are hard right now for everyone. And I want to blame the boogeyman. And I want to drink malt liquor and forget. But I need you to know I'm just getting started, kids. We're just getting started. Did you ever think you could just take a great big old brush? And make all these beautiful little trees. You really can. And he was right. Bob Ross created worlds. He created realities. He did his part. He served his country. In the Air Force. He was a gruff, tough officer. And he started picking up painting on the side, probably because he was bored and had free time on his hands. And he started painting in Alaska, which I can't even imagine the beautiful scenes he saw. And how in his mind, when he was painting for you on PBS, he was painting what his mind and his memory remembered from Alaska. Those beautiful little trees. And how they look like giants to him. Anything that you can try. Anything you try. And you don't succeed. If you learn from it. It's not a failure. And he's right. What have I told you over and over again? It's not how many times you get knocked down. It's not how many times you take a punch. It's how many times you get up and you keep going forward. And that may be the true joy of painting when you share it with other people. I really believe that's the true joy. I think about it often. What Bob Ross would think of ASMR and the ASMR movement. And people with a good heart and a good soul, like Gentle Whispers, and the others that came, the first generation, calming escape ASMR.
whispers Unicorn. Those are my favorites. You have unlimited power here. You can do that. You can do anything on this canvas. Anything. You have unlimited power here. You can do anything. Anything. And he's right. I am not the template for YouTube. No. Fifty-something years old. I'm not the template. I'm not young and cool and hip. But I'm wise. And I have a lot of stories to tell. Oh. I drink malt liquor. I do everything wrong. Everything wrong. And the more that you paint, the more you're able to visualize. That's right. The more I do the world I build, I'm able to bring more and more of you to the fold. Convince more and more of you I have something to say, and I do, I do have something to say, and I do have a witness to bring, and I've been through hell on YouTube, because I got news for you boys and girls, if you think this ASMR community is full of doves and lovebirds you're wrong it's full of pigeons and crows and crows are meat eaters baby and they like to eat the bones of others I've seen some things, and I've been through some things, and I never quit. And Bob Ross saw some things, and did some things, and he never quit. Never quit. Do you understand? They put Maria through the ringer. All the early artists got treated like complete shit. They treated ASMR like the women were whores, prostitutes, sex workers. Treated them like scum of the earth. You think it's just a little battle. It's not. This battle is huge. And it's gone on since the beginning of time. And there's people out there like Bob Ross. And Maria. And Tarar. And they're trying to change the world just a little bit at a time. Just a little tiny bit at a time. And there are so many voices out there trying to shut that down. Stop us. Silence us. People don't like Stallone going up there in front of his audience and reminding them that the power is in their hand. And I'm looking right at the camera. And she knows I'm talking about her. The power's in your hand. And we can't let it go. We can't let it go because there's a child out there. And a woman out there. And a man out there. 
that needs to hear what we have inside our minds. And that's what makes you great. The views and the subs and the news stories documentaries they don't mean shit you and I know what really matters when you hold the whole world in your hand for a moment in time and you give the world She knows I love her like a father loves a child. You hold it right here, and they hate it when Stallone gets up there and tells all of the minions it's right here, and they hate it. When Marvel tells women that it's right here, get up, keep going. And they hate it. They hate it. And they hate it when old TR stands here and keeps plucking these cards. And the more that you paint, the more you're able to visualize. And he keeps spouting it off. And he keeps disseminating it. And he keeps telling people that they matter. And he keeps telling people that he cares. And he keeps telling people that he loves them. And he keeps telling people that they're loved. And they hate it. They hate it. They feel the hate welling up in them. The sons of bitches. They hate what we bring to the table. Hope, love, cherishing each other, witnessing for each other. Their own silly, sick, twisted, narcissistic, self-centered, selfish ways. Pathetic. That's what I think of them. That's what I think of them. But this is what I have for you. Come here. It's all right. Come closer. I know, the old man gets crazy. The old man drinks his malt liquor labels out. Now that's how you do it, baby. That's how you do it, baby. Right, Logan? Labels out, brother. Kept midnight all the way. And they don't want us talking. They don't want us reading. You really can learn to be creative as you paint. It's like anything else. It just takes a little practice. When you start doing ASMR or anything else, you're not that good at it. I might have had some acting ability, some editing ability, but what you didn't see is I started my ASMR channel in 2014. I was doing, AS I was doing YouTube videos since 2007. So I learned for seven years before I started on a channel like this. 
where I tried to make a name for myself. I put in my 10,000 hours of work and learning, studying. I made it look easy. I made it look pro. I had a style. I had a character. I had it all down pat. Because I had failed time and time and time before. I made it look easy. There are some people who are naturals. But I assure you, they put the time in. They put the work in. They never gave up on their dreams. They never gave up on who they were. You know? Two malt liquors? That's pretty good for one night. But I think you guys deserve everything I can give to you tonight. And I don't want you to worry. And I don't want you to be afraid. Because the power is in here. The power is here. And there. And it's in you. And like the old man, the godfather of ASMR said, Bob Ross, let's put a few little highlights in here just to make them little rascals just sparkle in the sun. Bob Ross never gave up. Never quit. The man would rehabilitate a baby squirrel like his life depended on it. Nurse a baby deer with a bottle of milk like it was the last breath of creation. He never quit. Son of a gun, that's a pretty nice tree for being done that quick. And I think we need to remember this holiday, this Easter season, that guys like Bob Ross, they come once a generation. I am a shadow of him. I am a shadow of the master. But I am here to take it from here to you, my children. And it's your job to take it forward to the next generation. And we will not fail. We will not fail in our evolutionary journey to make this world a better place. The old ways, the evil ways, have got to stop. And I rely on you, my children, to carry the dream of Bob Ross forward. As we say his next saying, King of Clubs, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. Freeze frame that. Read it. Study it. Learn it. We don't have mistakes. We have happy accidents. We all make mistakes constantly. Constantly. It's what we do in between that matters. And success with painting leads to success with many things. It carries over to every part of your life. Now, he was focused on painting, but what he meant there is, if you're happy in your pursuits, if you're happy 
in your hobbies and your job. If you give the best that you can give, you have become a successful person. And we pull another card. The Two of Hearts. Let's make some nice little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for lightening it up for me. God, I miss this man. I miss this man. <coughs> I don't try to understand everything in light in nature. I just look at it and enjoy it. Such wise words. I watched a video by my friend Perception ASMR. She's a very small artist, but she has such grace, such dignity. Perception ASMR. If you're still watching, please stop by her channel and watch. She's lovely. Southern Bell ASMR. Maria Perception ASMR. These people try so hard to be kind. Spread a kind word. And Perception did this video where she went out in nature. I was really in a low point. Uh one day this week and I didn't know what to do with myself and you know I know perception she's a she's a friend of mine I met her I actually sat down and met her and her uh, family I'll say it that way and instant friends she's a great person I have not done enough for her as a person and she did this video where she went out with her little lab luna labrador luna the labrador and it's a little black lab and she's just a precious dog and there's something about people who love dogs <laughs> there's something primordial about people who love dogs like we were the first creatures on earth that bound together for the betterment of our species and you could tell that perception ASMR loves Luna <clears throat> they're going for a walk and perception is just so knowledgeable about local plants that are edible and walks you through a 20-30 minute nature walk of some of the most beautiful area in the United Kingdom and little babbling brooks, little broken down trees, green grass, and these edible plants planted along the path. And you think about people harvesting them as they needed them in the old days. And you think she's walking the path of ages and her knowledge is growing exponentially. She's becoming an expert in it. I have a friend who's refusing to call himself an expert on cults, but yet he exponentially is learning and becoming an expert on cults. I see my friend Perception, ASMR, younger lady, exponentially expanding her knowledge I can't even fathom how smart she is. I go to my wife and just look at this person. The the knowledge, the wisdom beyond her years. 
and she's someone who actually cares about mental health issues and physical health issues and she doesn't sit around crying about it now I know she doesn't think of herself as, as one but she is a force in the universe a force to be reckoned with to be acknowledged to be admired and to be respected When I first met her, she made sure that she got everything she wanted to say to me out. And when I first met her, I thought, who is this person? And then I realized, this is someone not to trifle with. She is out to learn. And I respect her so much. And the reason I spent time talking about her is Bob Ross. We've lost so much about what ASMR truly is and could be, could be, because of the monetary potential of it on a platform like YouTube. But we need to find our wizards and our warriors and our healers. And Perception's one of them. And I hope I don't embarrass her by talking about her. I'm afraid to say anything because I don't want to say the wrong names or anything. But she is a wonderful person. But she's my friend, and I've learned so much from her. I think we don't realize how important people are until <laughs> until they're away, they're gone. And if we had the chance to say, you know what, you and Jack are pretty goddamn cool people. I wish I would have said that to you then. And you know what? I'm saying it to you now. 